Hey, I'm Lauren from TastyPC.TV and I just got some new Alchemy 2.0 LED strips from BitPhoenix and thought that I'd make a video on them because they've done something that I really love and I'm surprised more manufacturers haven't done and that's make them magnetic rather than being secured with adhesive, which is something that I really, really love because I usually shy away from LED strips because of how they're secured. I find that because of how much hassle they can be to remove, they kind of become like a semi-permanent fixture in your case, which is a complete nightmare for me when I'm constantly kind of doing build swaps, not only for my own build, but for builds for cases, as, for videos as well. Um, and also because I find that I usually struggle to kind of tell how an LED strip will look, um, you know, before I've actually got it stuck there. So what I normally do is turn it on and kind of so try and sit it or prop it where I want it to go so I can kind of, you know, stand back and have a good look and see if that's where I actually want it to sit um, and that if I'm then using more than one LED strip that can you know again be a complete nightmare to try and get them to all stay in place while I decide if that's where I want them so you know with these being magnetic I can just sit it in um, you know actually kind of stick it in if I like it keep it if I don't move it move it again move it to a different case, move it around, it's, you know, it's great, it's fantastic. And it's one of these things that's such a small thing, but it makes such a big difference. So these are available in either green, white, red, purple, or blue. Um, I'd really love to see, the, like, maybe some yellow or pink colours released too. Um, so in terms of brightness, obviously the Bitfinex Alchemy LED strips are known for being very bright, and that is completely true again here with these ones. Um, the white is very, very bright, like it's incredibly bright, whilst not being harsh, which is really nice, especially given that it's got like quite a nice, kind of more, you know, colder white tone to it. Um, so with the green, I know that they were aiming for NVIDIA green, and even though outside of a case it is that kind of lighter green, inside a black case it is a much kind of deeper foresty colour. Which I actually think is a good thing, because I think that if it was the same shade, um, then if you had an NVIDIA card in with the LED it would kind of... Um, you know, be kind of drowned out by the LED strip. Um, but also, as I said, when it's outside it's a bit lighter so if you were using kind of you know, like a white case or a white motherboard then it would the color of it would be a lot lighter anyway so with the purple it this is my favorite of all the ad strip colors because it is just such a gorgeous color it's so nice it's such like a warm rich purple i really love it and um you know it's definitely kind of inspiring me to want to make a purple build um so next we've got red. Once again, this is a really rich colour. I mean, it's not quite as much as purple, and it is a lot. It is more a lot more of a deeper colour. But because of that, it looks really intense on camera, which is just great for like photos and videos and the like. Um, blue is blue is very much just like standard shade of blue that you'd expect, like a very deep colour. But it is really nice and great for a blue build. Although I would love to see maybe like a really light blue, like a cyan kind of colour. But yeah, so these are available in either 12 centimetres, 30 or 60. All of the ones that I've got here are 30 centimetres. And they're all powered by a 50 centimetre long Molex connector. Um, you can daisy chain up to four of them though if you want off just one Molex connector by attaching the LED strips to kind of the previous LED strip with these little cables. I do really wish they'd been powered with fan headers rather than Molex though, because not only do I find Molex quite fiddly, but you know, if it was a fan header, not only could you still power it with Molex if you wanted to, but instead you could plug it into either like a fan controller or your motherboard, and then use some fan control software to ch choose its brightness, which is what I, uh, it's how I run my Phobia LED strips when I use them sometimes, just you know, giving them 5 volts instead if I want them dimmer, or 12 volts if I want them brighter. Um, but the top of the power connector actually is magnetic as well, so that the extra weight that won't pull down the LED strip. And I feel like that kind of really shows just how much thought Bit Phoenix have put into these. Um, and I have to say, I don't think these will go anywhere. Like, um, you know, from sometimes when you use like adhesive LED strips, they start kind of peeling at the sides after a while. Like, I really don't see that happening with these at all. Obviously though, if you don't have a metal case, or you don't have like a metal rad or a metal fan grill, etc. to stick these to, then you are going to need to go for adhesive LED strips, because, you know, obviously the magnets won't work if it's not metal, but yeah, so these are just really sweet LED strips, and therefore, you know, naturally they're going to get my sweet award. It really is, making them magnetic is really just a, such a small thing that makes such a huge difference. Um, but yeah, so if you like this video, then please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more of my videos. And thanks for watching.